Hi, fellow gardeners. What do you do in the heat of the summer when you have lots of those suckers growing on your tomato plants? You clone them. I want to have tomato plants ready when the temperatures start to drop again. That's when you have a second season of tomatoes. I'm looking for six to 10 inch suckers so that I'll have enough growth to grow a new tomato plant. Remember, our goal is endless free tomato plants. I'm hunting for nice size suckers. This one's too short. I'm seeing one right here. Look at this sucker. It's growing right here and it's about six inches long. Here is that perfect sucker coming out of the crook of the primary stem. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to remove the extra leaves. And then I'm going to immediately place it in water so that it's not at risk. Found another free tomato plant. It's down right here. Another sucker. Again, remove bottom leaves. Leave its stem and immediately place into water. If I were to try to grow this tomato plant from seed, it would take me approximately three to four weeks longer. And I want to be able to harvest tomatoes starting in September. Now that we have the suckers in water, what do you do? <laughs> well, I could leave mine in the shade house because there will be plenty of sunlight. I just need to make sure that water stays in the container or under the grow lights in my hydroponics shelf or in my wine glass in my kitchen window where in three to four weeks these tomato plants will be cloned and ready to plant. Welcome to the area where we just stuck the suckers in to see what would happen. There was a tornado tore up the garden. We put things back as quickly as we could. We were busy clearing the roads so we could get in and out of the property. Take a look what happened when I put the tomato suckers into 25% nutrient solution, 75% pH balanced water, and left it with an aerator for about three weeks. I've decided to leave these for a little bit of time just because it's so hot outside. I know that I'm going to lose some of my tomato plants and these will get the nutrients they need. This is why I'm cloning tomato plants in the heat of the summer because this is my harvest now and it will be my harvest in September, October, and November until the first frost because I have taken and cloned my tomato plant. If you like the hints you're receiving, then subscribe to the Growing with Glenna YouTube channel where you just never know what's going to be growing. Free tomato plants. Who wouldn't want some? Clone your tomato plant. Thanks for watching.